The school committee provides an update on the contract negotiations between the city and the Newton Teachers Association. Here is the most recent update from Monday, December 4th. So I can let you all know that we had a two hour negotiation session with the NTA this evening and the school committee increased its COLA offers for all units as part of that negotiation session. Um, in addition, for Unit C, which are our paraprofessionals, um, we agreed to a proposal that the NTA had originally made. Um, and that proposal in total uh, drops two full steps off the bottom of the Unit C salary scale. We had previously agreed to one and a half of those steps. We've now agreed to uh, the NTA's full proposal on that two-step reduction. What that means is that salaries for our incoming uh, lowest earning Unit C members will increase, and that's something we're very pleased about. Um, so we have a tentative agreement on that aspect. Um, one of the other changes that the school committee made in its proposal this evening uh, related to um, COLA proposals with regard to Unit C members. Um, so we proposed this evening um, paying a higher COLA to those Unit C members who are at the lower end of the salary scale versus at the top end. I think you all recall from past negotiations updates that our the top step on our Unit C salary scale is about $10 an hour higher than almost all of our surrounding districts. But we do have work to do on the lower end. So in differentiating our COLA proposal, we emphasized a higher COLA for those on the lower end of that Unit C salary scale. A um, couple, other, couple other points. Uh, there's some misinformation circulating in the community uh, that the Newton Public Schools longstanding practice of allowing non-resident teachers to enroll their children in the Newton Public Schools um, is in jeopardy or is being removed. It is not. Um, that is a program that the school committee remains committed to. Um, instead, what we've proposed are some modest changes to the mechanism of how that program would work. And uh, two more, three more updates, sorry. Um, just to let you know, the NPS uh, effective December 1st just increased all of its Unit A, B, and E employees' salaries with their annual step increases. And for employees in those units, that means those employees are getting about on an average of 4% salary increase. Um, for those employees in our unit C and D, their salaries uh, were increased on their step date, which is September 1st. And so on September 1st, um, the average for our unit C and D employees was about a 6% salary increase. So despite the fact that we do not have a contract in place for this fiscal year, NPS is paying step increases to its employees. Um, one update from last our last meeting, um, we are making some corrections and improvements to the data that we had previously published about Weston's uh, Unit C salaries. We've gotten some updated information, and so we're going to get those corrections made and updated on our website pretty soon. And then the last thing is that we are meeting again uh, to negotiate with the NTA on December 18th, which is in two weeks. I just wanted to reiterate a point that can't be uh, stressed enough, which is that by reaching tentative agreements while putting forward um, package proposals that seek to capture the total cost of, um, of, the, of the proposals, that that demonstrates that the school committee is continuously operating under good faith to put forward um, an agreement that would be mutually beneficial to both parties.